Hello everyone, this is Lolly, and I'm back with some happy mail that I received. I don't always share happy mail, but I had several packages in a row and I thought I would put them all together. And first off, I want to share that I was sent, and I'm not mentioning who sent these and there is a reason. Some people have said that they suddenly get friend requests from people hoping to get goodies from them. So I don't give the names out unless absolutely necessary. So someone sent me these really awesome llama earrings and said uh, that I was free to take them apart and make something really cool with them. They are etched acrylic and I couldn't be happier with those. They're wonderful. Next up, and I will give you the uh, store of this person down below because she actually sells these trims. Oh my goodness. I wasn't feeling good when she sent me this lovely package, and I knew I wanted to wait until I could do it justice. But, and then this is just tape, so I can take this off, and I can use this trim too, because I will press uh, the trim and use it. And I, I even have little buckets full of all, you know, like small pieces of trim and mismatched pieces, and oh my goodness. I'm going to have to go through this pretty quickly. So look at these. If you know, imagine using those for like journal covers or just accents within some of your projects. Look at these. Oh my goodness, I love that. I just, wow, and I can't even just take the time to comment on all of them because they're just really amazing. I love the feel of floppy fabric with beads in it. I know that sounds weird, but I just love the feel of them. And I've mentioned several times that I'm a very tactile person. I like the feel of certain papers and certain, and these are a little shedding here. I like the feel of a real great blanket. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I don't know what this is, but it looks like a llama. Okay. It's a tank. <laughs> oh my goodness, look at that. It's like a sport tank. That is so funny. <laughs> llama corn, it's got the unicorn. Oh my goodness, it's so wild. Thank you. That's funny. Oh my dear. And there is a letter in there, which I will read off camera. Um, okay, and another one of these. And I know that um, this particular person who sells trims in her shop also um, is doing like D stashes right now on her video on her YouTube. So these are just awesome. Again, some of the some of the beads on the end where it's been cut, that's what's flying out, but those are okay. Oh, that whole thing looks like an owl almost, doesn't it? So awesome. Thank you so much. Wow. I so appreciate you thinking of me like that. Okay, let's clean up. Um, I went to the P.O. box today, and I really wasn't, I wasn't expecting this. So sometimes people ask for my address that they're going to send me something. But I don't go to the P.O. box right away, and so then I forget, and I forget who all asked for my address. So I was really stunned because I, I didn't know I was going to receive anything. So this is like a vintage um, pouch. You know, you can see it's got rings on it here. Five rings. What size is this? Closed. It's about three and a half by four and a half. Okay. So there was that, and then there was this classic diary system, which I had never heard of. And these are all the papers in here, like calendars and tab dividers, etc. And there's, oh, I love these papers. And I, I love all these ledger papers and graph papers. Those are right up my alley. Those are my favorite papers. And um, in any journal that I make, I really like those. And then this is the other set. And these are from 1998. Same thing. The back is all of those. And there's come alphabetized tabs. And then you've got your calendar pages. And just phenomenal. This one seems like 
most of this is not calendar page. So they're just amazing. And I remember um, thinking recently I saw someone make a little junk journal out of a wallet, a leather wallet. And I thought that was really cool. And I was just be kind of keeping an eye on at thrift stores. Anyway, this card came in there and I will just summarize. She said that she had this system. Her whole life used to be kept in this little notebook when she was on staff and she just loved it and it kept her life together. But as she's cleaning and destashing, she realized she needed to, to let go of it. She was grieving over having to get rid of this precious thing, but she wanted to give it to someone who could use it. And she thought it made her think of junk journals. And then she immediately thought of me. And, you know, I was making junk journals like crazy and I kind of got away from it for a couple of years just because I've been too busy, but I've always wanted to go back and I have all these junk journal pages so she thought of me and knew I could do something really fun with it. So that was really, uh, I really appreciate her willingness to send that to me, knowing how important that that system is to her. And one more. And I, again, I have no idea what this is. Oop, bubble wrap. Okay, no idea. Okay, let me just put this out here and start opening it up. This is interesting. I think this is polymer clay that has been put around a pen and it's got little charms on the end. I'll bet you anything that that is polymer or um, could even be air dry, which would be really a cool thing to do. I'm not sure how she got the textures, but that's really interesting. And then we've got, looks like it's a paper clip. So it's a, a hidden paper clip that slides down. Ooh, lovely. Um, you know, fabric fabric uh, key fob wrist chain type thing. We've got a handmade, um, what do you call it? Um, pendant, a pendant for a necklace. And another charm here. And it's a bird inside there. Beautiful. And a little bird here as well. Very cute. Nice. Oh, little llama and they're glittery. So pretty. Love it. Oh. <laughs> It's a wall decoration, peel and stick wall decoration. That is funny. And look at these stickers. Oh, they're puffy, squishy. Oh, love it. I love these. These are great in uh, junk journals, Some more doilies. Perfect. Ooh. Oh, I love it. Aren't these adorable? We've got purple sequins. And, oh, oh my goodness. Okay, I have to zoom in. You've got to see what these are. They're brads, but they're little tiny buttons. So let me show you. I love these little jars. Where did you get these? Okay, it's a brad. I'm sorry, my nails are in pretty bad shape. And they're little buttons. How cute are those? Oh my gosh. I have never seen anything like this, but that would be a cute addition to any project. Adorable. And again, I love these little jars. And these, oh, these are like screws. They're, they're um, brads again, but they are little like Phillips head and regular screw heads. Those would be really great for journals. Oh, look at these multicolor sequins. And I don't want these to roll away. I'm just gonna pour these. Oh, these are uh, mini brads here. And so we have, um, diaper pin or a safety pin and a lot of little lollipops get it and more diaper pins so they're diaper pins and they are little lollipops oh how fun what a delightful delightful trip to the mailbox and just so much fun thank you everyone for those wonderful treats okay so two of the people who sent me gifts have etsy shops and I will include their Etsy shop or their shop underneath this video. And the others of you who sent me things, if you want uh, any links given, I will message me on Facebook or something and I will include those underneath the video as well. Thank you everyone for watching and thank you for thinking of me.